live, I think. Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all. Once you join, comment, please. You're not that live yet. I'm not? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm live. Oh, yeah. You're just laughing. You're wearing Freddy Krueger. It's great. It's almost Halloween. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna invite some people to join. Anybody here yet? I'm using my new um, TZ Audios mic. That's why it sounds so good. Okay, time to get some more people in here. Come chat. Ask me questions. Sup, iPrime Productions. <laughs> How are you today? <sighs> Wonderful. Invite your friends. If y'all hear a delay, it's because I am trying to get some more people in here. Who's here? Somebody else joined. Welcome, welcome. Who is here? Please chat. Thank you for joining. I'm keeping an eye on the chat box. I'm using my new TZ audio mic. Trying to get more people in here. Answering questions, chatting with people. Anything you want to say, keep it appropriate, put it in the chat box. <sighs> Come on, there's somebody else in here. Please leave a comment. I'm not. So, um, fun fact, this is the same spot I did my uh, Dr. Phil episode in. I was sitting right in this exact same spot. Who recognizes it? Leave a comment. I'm working on getting more iPrime Productions remembers it. Go subscribe to him. Working on getting more people in here. I just went live, so I'm still making posts. So please be patient. It will get interesting soon. People are um people are reading my post so somebody else joined leave a comment please <laughs> <sighs> tell 
Tell me a fun fact about yourselves. Oh, somebody left. Cool. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> we gotta tell a story. We gotta do something interesting. We're just sitting there. Have a conversation with me. <laughs> What's a good story? <laughs> Ooh, more people are joining. Hey, hey, what's up? Thanks for joining. Uh, please leave a comment if you're here. I'm using my new TZ audio mic. Um, there you go. I have a fat cat. He's like 17 pounds. His name is Dax. Look at him. He's actually not that fat. He's just really big. Hey, what's up? Thanks for joining. Where did you find this live stream? Thanks for coming. This is Dax. He's my co-host. Look how chill he is. <laughs> I'm a cat lady. This is my first... Um, live stream on my personal YouTube channel. Dax, don't go far. You're a part of this. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm trying to get more people in this chat, so I've been posting. I am trying to... Hmm? Please share this live stream. That would mean a lot to me. It's my first one. Um... Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for joining. Um, did you apply for Shutterfest? Tell them how many people are on Shutterfest now. How many people apply? Um, this year, over 2,500 yeah. models applied, and I think they're only picking like 200. Yay! What's up, Raymond? Thanks for joining. First time applying. That's awesome. I hope you get in. Raymond, what's up? Dax, come on. Hold on. I'm going to show you my fat cat. This is Dax. He's so big and soft. <laughs> He's my son. Yeah, that is a lot. I was wondering how many people were going to apply, and I don't think I ever really knew how many actually get accepted, so I hope I get accepted. I hope you do, too. Raymond, what are you up to? Is it echoing? The mic is echoing? Oh. Um, try again. Uh, do you still hear the echo? Check one, two, check one, two. You still hear it? Ah, poop. It could be the room I'm in. Um, in our chat. I don't hear the echo. Um... I'm not sure why it's echoing, but thank you guys for letting me know. We have someone testing it to see if they hear. It's just, it's reverb on the mic. Um, it might just be the reverb on the mic, Your not sound guy is just setting it up. My sound guy is just setting it up. It's maybe the speakers in the room. No, I think it's it might just be the reverb on the mic. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not using speakers. Um, hopefully, it's not annoying though, because uh, hopefully you guys will stay in the chat and talk to me. We should talk about when we visit. Raymond, tell the story about Raymond. Which one? 
Raymond's my homie. We've been friends for years. Um, last time, he's a photographer too. Last time we shot with him, it was at the uh, uh, Fort Bellefontaine. That was really cool. Okay, what about back here? Does it sound better? Aw, thanks, Raymond. You the homie. So I'm here ask, answering questions and chatting with people. So feel free to share a fun fact about yourself or ask any questions. Um, I'm going to try to get more people in here. So should get more interesting soon. This is my first live stream, so. So are you going to move to St. Louis or are you just going to be working out here? Mike sounds better. Sounds better? I was told that the mic sounds better. So is it better further back? It's a new mic, so I'm still trying it out. Um, okay, does it sound better? Awesome. Oh, rainy. Yes, I did get it working. Um, but we're still going to do videos on Thursday, if you're still down. Um, Y'all follow Rainy TV. He is a reaction channel. Um, if you've ever seen, like, reaction videos, um, I've done a lot with him. We have a ton of reaction videos on his channel, so go check those out, and then there's going to be more coming. So go subscribe. Aw, iPrime Productions is a fan of Rainy. We're all fans of Rainy. Fun fact, the first time that Rainy messaged me to do reaction videos on his channel, it looks good. Awesome. Thank you. Um, first time Rainy messaged me to do videos with him, like, on my way there, I was, like, watching some of his videos, and I'm like, wait, I've actually seen his videos before, I just didn't know that he was local, so go subscribe, his channel's blowing up, what do you have, like, 125k now? Yeah, the, uh... The camera is my uh, MacBook Air, and this is my new TZ Audios mic. Um, this is my first time using this mic, so got it from Amazon. If y'all want one, go check it out. Um, I can send you the link. I'll probably add the link in the description later as well. And I'm going to share this stream with more people. I am getting busy. Like, I used to be busy. And then I dislocated my knee. Oh, there's a story I can tell. Um, and that slowed me down for a bit. But now it's healing quite a bit. And busy season for work is coming back up. And yeah, I have... A lot of other stuff I'm working on, so I actually have been wanting to do my own podcast, so I don't know how to escape busyness. It doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. Yes, Rainy, I'm glad I'm on YouTube now, too. Um, I had some, some help getting this figured out, and... Now that I got it, hopefully I'll be doing more with it. Okay, maybe I'll finally post this on Instagram so people can join. If y'all could invite your friends to join this live, I'm trying to get at least 100 comments. Ideally, I'd love at least 100 people joining. What all platforms are you connected to live right now? Just YouTube? Um, I do have a Spotify that um, I might start doing a podcast on. 
people keep telling me that me and Lucy should start like a channel or a podcast, but she's so busy too. So I'll probably do like a thing where I have guests and stuff. So who is still here? Just posted on Instagram stories. So hopefully people can join. Yes, you should because St. Louis is wonderful. There's always stuff going on. Do you know what part of St. Louis you're planning on moving to? For the people, not the city. Fair. It's important to have uh, good people around you. So, And um, you're going to be working out here too, right? Okay, posting this on Snapchat too. So hopefully people will join. Fenton is great. That feels like a good area for you. And they also have Wally's, which is my happy place. I'm going to drink my pumpkin drink now. Yeah, you should. I don't know how much time I can promise you since I am very busy, but we will definitely need to hang out. And you can meet some of the other peeps. Yes. Who's still here? Raymond, who's the other person? I think it's I Prime Productions. Did you hear about how I dislocated my knee? Half the story. What did I tell you? Literally, I don't even know how it happened. I wasn't even dancing. It was at a concert and I think I moved wrong and it popped out of place. Popped it right back in, hurt real bad, but then I was back at it. Oh, did I talk about it in the group chat? I forgot about that. No, we're not gonna do that. Wow, my friends are not joining. Except for Raymond, because he's cool. Raymond says, where's Brad? Brad is eating. What are you eating? Peanut butter. I want peanut butter. Come feed me on camera. Just, just put your hand in the camera and just feed me. You don't have to put your face on there. Give me something. Ooh, somebody else just joined. Welcome. Please comment. Feed me. Uh -huh, please. <laughs> I can't get off the camera. Ooh, somebody else just joined. Welcome. Please comment so I know. I'm doing it. Stop listening. Just 
Justin, what's up? Thank you for coming. Look, I learned from you. I'm doing it now too. How did the last episode go? I want to get back on your show soon, but um, work is picking back up, so it's it's busy season again, so, but you guys film every Wednesday, right? We'll have to pick another Wednesday so I can get on the show again. Awesome. What bands did you guys talk about this time? Oh, did you go to uh, Magnolia Park? Welcome to whoever just joined. Please comment. I'm trying to get 100 people to comment. Wednesday is always awesome. Please tell me you got to see um, Magnolia Park. Welcome to the person who just joined. I apologize. I can't read that language, but thank you for coming. You didn't. Wow. Why not? Are you going to Beartooth next year? Raymond, are you still here? I see you're in the group now. By the way, this is my new uh, TZ audio mic. Wow, fair, fair. Well, I'm sure th I'm sure they'll be back again. So hopefully, you'll get to see them next time. Awesome! Thank you for staying, Raymond. I'm trying to keep the the live going. You gotta, you gotta, Justin, I'm going. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear about how we got Dax? Hey, Dax, come up here for context. Thank you, the Gustavo Master 26. Thank you for joining. Um, feel free to stay in chat for a while if you want. Ah, uh, thank you, Raymond. Ask them if you're for the streets. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it crunchy? <laughs> Do you guys see that? I feel weird eating a hot dog on. Don't eat the rest of it. <laughs> it's so good though. It tastes so good. Low carb Hawaiian bread. Tell them about the bread. You wouldn't guess it by looking at it. This is a low carb Hawaiian bread hot dog bun. It tastes like <laughs> Raymond said. You told him to feed you. Yes, just, 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 Justin said hot dog party podcast. We're graduating from pizza. It's low carb too. It's so good. So I feel you're weeding it, eating it on camera. I have a name. What's my name? So y'all know I like cats, right? A lot. Dex, come on. This is my uh, Freddy Krueger shirt. Steve's hot dogs. I don't know what kind of hot dogs these are, but the bun is low carb, which is really cool. Um, Justin, are you going to keep posting those, uh, little TikTok videos? I really like those. Raymond, Nikki Serenity is my legal name. What are you talking about? Dax, stop licking your butthole. Good. I really like those little videos. Uh, keep doing that. And we'll get more content on the next episode that I can hop on with you guys.
Um, both. Why not both? Dang, I've been streaming for like 25 minutes already. That's actually crazy. I didn't really have a plan for it, though. Good. That's the way to blow up. Uh, keep doing that, because once you have a really good one that's, like, edited well, especially if it's funny, um, you never know when it can blow up. Um, <coughs> uh, Brad and I had a TikTok that reached 4.1 million views. It was actually of Dax. The cat that's right here. I'm trying to get his attention. But he's taking a bath. Yeah, it really does. Like, didn't our podcast episode get up to, like, two hours almost? Because we were just, like, talking and having a good time. Raymond, you should. Actually, they have, like, a podcast. We, we actually go to the barn to film it. Um... It's called, so his podcast is called the Pop Punk Pizza Party Podcast. So they always eat pizza and talk about uh, pop punk music. It's really fun. Um, not sure if you like that kind of music, Raymond, but if you do, you should definitely join us sometime. Because it was a lot of fun. And they have like 14 cats. Yep. Go follow the Barn Media Group. Those guys are really cool. They post a lot of really good content, and the, the podcast is a blast, so you should join us sometime. Um, I do have, uh, Justin, some ideas for more guests that you should have on there, so if you need some new people to keep things fresh... I can help you. You're starting a podcast? I have a feeling I know what it's about. That's awesome. I know who you should talk to if you want to do that. Actually, you, you might already have. Uh, did you talk to... Um, that one other guy in our group who has a podcast. People were saying that you should go on his podcast. I didn't know if you ended up going on it or not. Oh, I'm sure he wants you to come on. He'd be a perfect fit for his podcast. Just message him. I'm sure he'd be down. I was on it and it went really well. No! <laughs> oh, no, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear. Um, But yeah, I'm sure he would still want you on there. So do it. Okay, I'm going to bring Dax up here, so hold on a second. I'm trying to be careful of my knee. Come on! Ow. Oh, look at him. actually did hurt my knee a little bit. What's up, Film Nation? How are you? Thanks for joining. This is Dax. He's my son. He's actually like the coolest cat ever. Here. Hey, sit next to me. Ooh, Raymond, please do it because... I know so many people we could get on that. I'm doing well. How are you? Thank you for joining and thank you for commenting. 
He really is soft, and he's huge. He's like 17 pounds. Thank you. His name is Dax. He's a good boy. He, uh, he can play fetch like a dog. Sometimes when he meows, it sounds like he's saying hello, so he can speak English. Um, he can also sit, speak, and roll over. Of course. Uh, dude, no. Dax. He's trying to play with the cord. I, no. Stop. Okay. <laughs> See, he listens. Oh, Max. Oh, no, his name is Dax with a D. But it's funny you say that because um, the way I named him, actually, uh, I was thinking about a cat that I had for like a month until we found his owners. Like, I fell in love with this cat. He reminded me of this cat that I had growing up that was literally the best cat in the world. No one will convince me otherwise. So I had this cat for a month, and he reminded me of that cat that I grew up with. And we named him Galileo. So he had a very unique name um, until we found his owners and found out that his real name was Max. So when we got Dax, I was like, I want a unique name for him. Nothing super common. I don't want it to be like Max, like everyone names their cats. So... My brain just started going to things that rhyme with Max. And then I came up with Dax. So it's funny you thought that because that's kind of where it came from. He is one of the best rappers. Lay down a beat and he's got you. That's a really good question. Um... My favorite part about modeling, um, so I was really inspired by, like, uh, models in Vogue and the really, uh, cool, crazy, weird poses they, they did, and I think one, one of my favorite parts of modeling is, um, getting to do stuff like that, and it's kind of like my creative outlet. I get to, uh, create different shapes and poses and stuff, and, um... I don't feel like I'm generally a very creative person, so getting to do that kind of thing makes me feel creative. Um, and also, I, I met a lot of friends through it. Um, most of my best friends are actually models and photographers, so um, it has... Um, even if I were to never model again, it um, served a huge purpose for me. So yeah, it looks like there's only one person here now. I was telling a story. Okay, there they are. Okay, I think it, I think it lagged or something. I think there was like a glitch. Because there's definitely more people in here. So, um, yeah, those are my favorite parts of modeling. Oh, Tippy Joe Show. Yes, I think I messaged them, and I need to get back to them because um, we were trying to figure out a day that uh, worked with my schedule. I did not realize that they shot at the barn. That's really cool. Thank you, Film Nation Wrestling fan. And thank you, Raymond, for staying. Please ask more questions while I finish the rest of my hot dog. If there was any woman out there that wants to do modeling, what would be the first advice that you would give them? The first thing I'd want them to know, you don't have to get naked to get somewhere. And when photographers try to convince you that they do, they're uh, lying to manipulate you to pose nude. 
you do not have to. I don't pose nude and um, I've had a lot of success. So don't let anyone um, make you think that. Because uh, when I was a younger model, I, I started modeling, I think, around the age of 19. And yeah, there were a lot of uh, creeps and weirdos in the industry. And some of them told me that I wouldn't get anywhere unless I take my clothes off. Um, and also, if you ever feel uncomfortable, um, you can, like, you have the right to leave the shoot. Um, there are some uh, photographers and other people in the industry that will use their position to try to not be very cool. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, they're great people, great people in a great show. That's awesome. I will have to reach back out to them and figure out a day that works. Thank you, Raymond. I'm glad you agree. And yes, absolutely. I believed it too. I, I was new to modeling. I thought I wouldn't be able to get anywhere unless I did these things because I didn't know. I didn't know otherwise. So I just had to go off what people told me. So I definitely um, try to let newer models that because um, they're not hearing it from them. So hopefully they'll hear it from me. Yes, absolutely. Unfortunately, there are a lot of those in this industry. I've been in a lot of uncomfortable situations. Um, so it's really important to do your research um, if a new person is, um, if a new person is reaching out to you about doing a shoot or something, uh, do your research, check out their social media, talk to models who have worked with them, um, just feel out the situation and make sure that they're going to be safe. I remember that. I remember that. Yes, trust your gut. Um, there have been a handful of situations I just had a bad feeling about, so I didn't do them. And there's a lot of scams out there, too. Um, a lot of people will reach out to younger, newer models. Um, and a lot of them are scams. I believe that a lot of them are honestly even sex traffickers. So there are some real... There's some real danger out there that you have to look out for. So be smart. Do your research. Talk to people. Talk to experienced people. Uh, what was life like in St. Louis? Um, I love St. Louis. It's a great city. There's so much to do here. I have a lot of great friends here. Um, my favorite cartoon shows to watch, uh, definitely Spongebob. Um, growing up, I loved Ed, Ed and Eddie, Spongebob, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, uh, trying to think what else. What were the other classics? Tell me if you liked those shows, too, or tell me what your favorite shows were. I believe it, Raymond, and I love that. I, re I respect that. Wow, really? Justin, you're going to do that? <laughs> I love Tonight Alive and Icon for Hire. I've seen them both live a handful of times each, actually. Um, wow. I literally listened to both of them today, too. Like, Brad and I went to this restaurant. He had to go out to, like, Hannibal. And we stopped at this restaurant on the way back. And they had touch tunes. So, of course, I had to play some of my emo girl jams. Actually, yeah, I at least tried to play both of them. I tried to play Get Well by Icon for Hire. I don't think that one worked for some reason uh and then i played temple by uh tonight alive <sighs> i really don't want to pick one of those 
give give me a couple other bands to pick from. I don't want to. I don't want to do that one. <laughs> I vote both. Give me something else. Give me something easier. Temple, yes. I prefer older Tonight Alive, but of their newer music, Temple is one of my favorites. And it's relatable, too, because I have a lot of health conditions, so I feel it. I feel it. Glimmers, that sounds familiar. Is that a band? Thank you for sticking around. Tom and Jerry was awesome. Definitely Spongebob. Spongebob, if you grew up with it, you're always going to love it. And every situation you could be in in life, um, there's a Spongebob quote that you can reference. What's up, Lyle? Thank you for joining. How are you? Lyle is awesome. Go subscribe to him, too. Bands from Atlanta, nice. What uh, what genre are they? I'm going to look them up because I'm always down for finding new music. <clears throat> Yellow Card versus Simple Plan. <sighs> those are also, okay, those are two bands that I've only heard like a couple songs each from. <laughs> So I feel like I can't give a fair answer. Ah, oh, thanks, Lyle. I love modeling your armor. It's so awesome. We gotta do it again sometime. Yeah. Oh, Doodle Bob. Yeah. Me ahoy, me How many rooms of clothes do I have? Um... <laughs> so I have my closet in my bedroom I have my brother's old room that is now my closet room and I also have clothes in my car so only one full room but I have clothes in two other places too yes um you should definitely come back to St. Louis um I might be in Kansas City next year, early next year. I'm hoping there were a couple of times I almost went out there this year, but um, sadly they did not work out. But early February, possibly late January, I might make it out there. Sabaton, I don't think I'm familiar. Yes, I do have fits for days. I have too much, but don't ask me to get rid of any clothes because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, okay, I have to look up that band. Actually, uh, Justin, can you just message me that band name so I can look it up? Awesome. I might be going out there with Lucy. This is my new TZ Audios mic. Um, just a second, I'm going to pull it up on my Amazon so I can show you guys. Thank you, Film Nation wrestling fan. I don't know your real name. Um, if you want to share your real name, I'd love to address you by name, but... Um, I appreciate that, but I am glad that I went through that because I would not be who I am today if it wasn't for going through that stuff. And I can help other people going through it. Ah, uh, we miss you too. Raymond said, tell Brad I said sup. Sup, sup. He said sup, sup.
Fun fact, I'm sitting in the exact same spot that I filmed Dr. Phil in. Sweet, I will check it out. Um, I don't really use Spotify, but I'll look it up on YouTube for sure. And I'm about to show you guys the mic I'm using. So it's the TZ Stellar X3 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. If you can see that, that's the one I have. This is my first time using it. Um, but I think it sounds pretty good for my first time playing with it. So I'll definitely be using it more in the future. Ah, uh, yeah, they suck. Um, I had a kid at my middle school who committed suicide um, because he was bullied so bad. <sighs> middle school is already really hard for kids, so I hated it too. No, I did not know that Dr. Phil's son is pop punk AF. That's amazing. Is he in a band or does he just really like that kind of music? Um, remember that submersible that went missing? Why the sad fa- Oh, because- Oh, yeah. Because of the story. <laughs> um, the submersible that went missing. Before they knew for sure that, um, that everyone in it died, <laughs> one of the guy's sons- was at a Blink-182 concert and was like, my dad would have wanted this. Yeah, middle school is the worst time for me, too. He's in a band. That's, that's awesome. Do you know what band? Because I definitely want to check them out. Especially if they're that kind of music. This is my Freddy Krueger shirt. I didn't do it on purpose for Halloween. I don't like, I don't even celebrate Halloween anymore. <laughs> Justin, I am glad you're still here. I'm so sorry you felt like you had to do that. I'm glad it didn't work. And awesome, if you find them, please let me know. Yeah, I didn't like I didn't like middle school at all. It, it was a bad time. It was a bad time. <laughs> How did it feel to be on TV on the Dr. Phil show and what was your experience like? It was awesome and terrifying. Um for like 2 days before filming, I felt like I was having a constant panic attack. Like I was like gripped by it. And that, that part was horrible. And part of the reason for that is because, like, two days before actually filming, they sent me a long list of footage they needed. And I had, like, work and other stuff that I had to do. And they're like, yeah, we need all this stuff for the show. Um, so we went to our friend's studio, and she did my makeup professionally. And we had all this set up, and we filmed all this stuff. And I was already freaking out the whole time because I was worried about getting everything in time. And then I sent it all to them. And then they're like, oh, we need it all in one clip. And I like recorded each question in individual clips. And I'm like, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get that to you guys in time. So we ended up just merging it all together into one video. And they were able to work with that. But I was still freaked out about going on, but it ended up, I got so much prayer beforehand. I had a lot of people pray for me, like, at church two nights before, I think it was. I had some people pray for me, and that lifted some of the, actually, a lot of the anxiety. And I just had people praying for me that um, I would say the right things, that I wouldn't embarrass myself, that they wouldn't use anything to make me look bad. and. Ended up great.
So I'm very happy I did it. Notes for Hope. Ah, uh, yes, I remember you guys talking about that. Um, if there's anything I can do to help with that, please let me know. Um, I did a video recently for this anti-bullying uh, campaign of some sort. Uh, I forgot what it was. It's on my TikTok, I believe. Um, but I just did a video, like, uh, giving people hope. And I love being able to do that. Like, it makes it all worth it. Yes, yes, it is a good thing for sure. And it helped me so much. <sighs> Most people who are bullied in their younger years end up being the ones who persevere. Absolutely. I mean, look at me. I'm doing pretty good, I think. Could be doing better, but... Now people who didn't talk to me or didn't like me or mean to me want to have something to do with me. Now they do, because I'm doing well. That's awesome. Like, the emo night events, like... Is it going to sponsor, like, some of those events? Thank you, Raymond. I want to be a good example for people. I don't always do the best, but... I, I do feel like a whole new person compared to where I used to be, so... I hope that gives the people who need it some level of hope, at least. So eating my hot dog. Ooh, you're doing your own. Please, please tell me all about that because I love emo nights. I love all the emo events. You know that. I'm always talking about them. Please keep me in the loop with that. Um, Film Nation, um... Some people have it, whether it's normal normal or not. I would say most people don't, but ever since I started, like, growing my armpit hair and, like, posting pictures and stuff, I've, how do I say it? I found a lot of people who have it. I didn't try to. I was just um, enjoying having it for myself. Um, but there's a lot more out there who have it than I thought. Thank you, Raymond. I am, um, I'm, I, that's what I've always wanted, honestly. So I really do hope to continue to be an inspiration for people. And low key, I'm trying to get famous. So hopefully I can reach more people with my story. I'm actually planning on doing videos of um, a lot of that stuff, stuff I've been through and what I did to get out of it and things that I think would really help people. Feeling this, I'm going to see them. Danger Party and Not Topic are awesome as well. I'm I'm actually friends with a lot of those people. Danger Party, I've seen a handful of times recently. Not Topic, I love Stacy. She's awesome. I actually work a lot of events with Stacy. She's really sweet. Awesome. Definitely message me. Uh, let me know if what I can do, and like I said, it's starting to be busy season, but anything I can do, I definitely want to. Thank you, Film Nation. Yes, I love the short content stuff. Um, <laughs> I would love to do more stuff like that if you want to do that. Wow, that hat's so dirty. <sighs> I 
love sparkling ice. This is the coconut pineapple. Oh, it's so good. Why is it so good? <laughs> There's like no carbs and no calories. It's awesome. Who's still here? I'll probably end this soon. I think an hour is a good spot-ish to end it. You should. Maybe we can uh, shoot something while you're up here. I mean, I don't mind going down there if I need to, but if you come up here anyway, it might work. It's funny, Stacy actually just messaged me. We were just talking about her. BFE? I feel like I know what that is, but. Thanks so much for joining, and yes, God bless America and Israel. Pray for them. Oh, you go to Pops a lot? Hey, that's not far at all. That's where Beartooth is going to be. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> Don't forget to look up this mic. Uh, this is my new mic. It's the TZ Stellar X3 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone um, from TZ. TZ Audio Distributions. Um, definitely check it out. What? Where do y'all do that? It pops. I did hear it changed a lot. Oh, yep. Okay. I got what you meant by that, Raymond. <laughs> so, like, out where you are. That's kind of where we were today. Like, we went to a restaurant, and he was like, everything else was closed, and they're like, uh, there's only like three restaurants out here. We're like, oh, <laughs> there's like just nothing out there. I went through Sullivan recently and I thought of you uh, while we were driving through it. Me and Lucy, we were going to uh, Springfield, Missouri for an event. And I thought about stopping by, but we didn't have any time. I was like, oh, look, Sullivan, that's where that's where my friend lives. Actually, I know a few people from there. Um, I know a handful of people from out that way. Not the best area, but good people. Oh, that's cool. So you guys film there? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. I've, I've heard stories. Yeah, that too. I sadly had a friend who was from there and she passed. And I think that had something to do with it. Unfortunately. I went to a uh, skit thing. It was at a church last night, and it was, like, about addiction, mental health, abuse, and, like, they were just talking about how common it is in, in like, the younger generation because it didn't used to be like that. 
and they touched on like a lot of the statistics and fentanyl and yeah it's it's a bigger problem than people realize so i'm really glad that there are groups like uh breakdown stl that um put that truth out there for people it was uh really sad to watch but very eye-opening i think especially for the older generations who uh didn't have to deal with that stuff as much Every week? Is it like a certain day of the week? Because I'm so down. In fifth grade. Dude, that's actually insane. That's like... That's not cool. Wow. That's even worse than I thought it was. Fifth grade. I... When I was in fifth grade, I barely knew what a drug was. Well, hopefully he stayed away from all that. Thursdays. Okay. What time? What time on Thursdays? Seven. Okay. Depends on the week because I work some Thursday evenings. But if just message me and let's plan one because I'm down for that. And I haven't been to Pops in so long, like years. But I'll be back there next year and hopefully sooner too. Wow, yeah. That's what Tom McDonald said too when he moved to America. He was like, we didn't have this stuff in Canada. like, So people were like calling him racist and stuff and he's like, what? From Houston. To Missouri. I didn't know you lived there. That's cool. I've never been to Texas, but I want to. But yeah, this is my TZ audio mic. That would be awesome. Let's do it. Message me and we'll plan one soon. What? I didn't know you. Oh, wow. That's cool. Well, if you ever go back, send me Voodoo Donut because there's so many of those in Texas. <laughs> oh, I would I would love to go to that one. I went to this. Um, I went to the Renaissance Festival in St. Louis on the last day. The last day that they had it this year, which was a week ago yesterday. Oh, you were born in Texas too? Ah, y'all, I'm jealous. I've literally never been. I want their warm weather. San Antonio, well, if please, if y'all ever go back, send me Voodoo Donut. I will pay you whatever I have to. For your time, your gas, the shipping. I need it. I need it. Mango Tango. I want lots of that. That's the one I want. Mango Tango. Yes, they do. That was the one I went to in Wentzville. It was awesome. I didn't dress up because of my knee. I hurt my knee. But... So I was, like, focusing on keeping it comfortable. But next year, I'm definitely planning on dressing up. I already have a costume in my Amazon shopping cart that I'm probably going to wear. I was also told that they have a pirate event and an adult Easter egg hunt. Uh, No, you can't order from them online, so y'all will need to send me some. I've actually had people do that before because I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of wish I would have gone in costume, but next year. And I'll probably go to the pirate one. I have to see when it's going to be because I want to be a pirate. Um, 
please talk to her because I want my mango tingle. Brad. Yeah. Do you want them to send you mango tingo? I want 60 of them. <laughs> he said he wants 60 of them. We have connections. <laughs> Yeah, there's like five different ones in Texas. Let me know if you're going because like next year or whatever to the St. Louis one because I could like wear your armor there. That would be awesome. That would be perfect. <gasps> Lucy! Yay, I'm glad I didn't end it because Lucy's here. Go follow Lucy. That's my best friend. That would be awesome, too. We should do that. Please do, Justin. I need it. That's Lucy Toby. She's my best friend. Y'all go subscribe to her. Well, we'll help it. Everybody go follow her. So... The people we got here so the barn media group that's justin he is on the pop punk pizza party podcast that's a lot of peas uh raymond potter jr he's one of the homies he also does photography lyle is a photographer and he makes the coolest armor y'all should subscribe to everybody that's okay lucy will will uh you should put you should post like some of our our like cute little videos and stuff on there. Oh, Justin, you could you could you could rock some armor. You could be a pretty badass warrior. This is my TZ audio mic. Let me make sure I'm subscribed to all of you. I should be. I think I am. Yes, you should definitely have Lucy on the show. She is an emo kid like me. She likes a lot of the same music. She's my best friend. She's one of the funniest and most entertaining people I've ever met. You should have me on me and her on the show sometime and believe me it would be a riot. So Lucy, sometime we'll talk about it, but if you want to go on that podcast. No rush. I know you're busy. Yes, we are the same person. Like our brains think the same way. We like the same music. Like, we get around each other, and we just bounce off the walls. Yeah, their their podcast is so fun. We got to just eat pizza and talk about, like, the kind of music we like. Yeah, now I like sushi. I li I had some yesterday. I, I, went, I got more yesterday and the day before. So since, since you took me... To get sushi, which I did not want to do because I thought I didn't like sushi. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I can't help it. So after you took me to Sushi AI, which I didn't want to do because because I thought I didn't like sushi. And then my eyes were opened. And then like a few days later, I was working at Fresh Time. And I couldn't wait to get off because they had $5 sushi on Thursdays. And then... A day or two later, no, yeah, a few days later, I was working at Schnooks, and I got some of their sushi. And then yesterday, Brad and I went to Sushi AI, and um, we got more. And then I had leftovers, so I ate most of the rest of it today. Um, <laughs> butters, actually, that's a funny story for you, since you might be moving to Fenton. Um, it was like, okay... We actually got it from Wally's. It really is an addiction. We got this like slap bracelet butterfly from Wally's. I got it for her because she loves butterflies. And we were just 
we get crazy when we're around each other and we were slap happy, literally. So I started slapping butters. <laughs> that's that's what that's what we named him. <laughs> he asked about what the deal is with butters. Cause I reshared that video because it popped up from like a year ago or whatever. Two years ago. I think it was like a year ago. But um yeah, Wally's, which is one of my happy places. It's the gas station in Fenton. Um they have everything there. Um and they had butters waiting for us to adopt. So now he's our abused child. <laughs> it really is like a city. It's like, oh, their food is so good. Dude, the pizza, the hot dogs. They got like oh, ice cream and any kind of alcohol you'd want. They got seltzers. They got cocktails. They got all the beer you want. And then they got like... It's like a travel stop too. So they got the 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 shirts and the St. Louis is a city for lovers shirt and they have the the mugs and the camping stuff and the little knickknacks and Yes, I like alcohol. Pumpkin spice. Yes, they do have they have sloth stuff too. Lucy got me a sloth there. I got her a butterfly. Yes, Justin, if you have not, have you tried Wally's Pizza? It's so good. It's so good. I don't even know what to describe it. I don't know what, I don't know what other pizza to compare it to. It's not, it's not thin crust like Emo's, but it's not thick either. It's like thin enough that it's still very good. I like thin pizza. I like thin crust. Well, I like thin crust and I like deep dish. Those are my two favorites. So like two opposite ends of the spectrum. Although pretty much all pizza is good. Dude, go to it. It's probably on your way to St. Louis. Don't you probably pass through Fenton? Giordano's. Did I go there? I'm trying to remember which pizza place I went to in Chicago that was like my first experience with Chicago pizza. Fired is very good. I didn't even have it fresh and it was really good. And that honey sauce, even though I don't like spicy stuff, the flavor was really good. Yes. Have you seen Wally's? It's the big orange sign. Emo's pizza or bust. Aw, <laughs> oh, thank you, Lucy. Love you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for commenting. I've been trying to get people to pop in and comment. And I've been talking about my TZ audio mic. This is my new mic. Giordano's on. What? Sir, can you message me that? Because I need some of that. Chris is a cool dude, and he makes some good pizza. And talking to him, I feel like he has a high IQ. Get his IQ next time. <laughs> I'm curious. He just strikes me as a high IQ person. Much like Lucy. Lucy has a very high IQ. I feel like... Chris and Lucy should debate anything. Like, just give them something to debate about when we get her on the show. Let's do it. I'm going to get off here soon. He seems like it, and he's, he's like a very... Chill, quiet, kind of smart. Lucy's a loud, crazy smart. In a, in a great way. 
in the best way. Okay, y'all, I'm about to get off of here. Don't forget to check out TZ Audio Mics. Um, that's what I used for this entire live stream. Definitely a lot better than my built-in laptop mic, even though it's a pretty cool MacBook Air, high quality, but that's where it's at. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I love it. We should all party. You should add Lucy on social media. And we'll plan something. Don't be offended if it takes a while to uh, schedule something with her because she's very busy. She's a nursing student. And she, so she goes to school and she works in a hospital. And it's long hours and hard work. And I'm so proud of her. You too, Lyle. Uh, Renfest, I think, is going to be... I think it's usually September and October every year. So it's over for this year. But if you go to their website, I think they have the pirate thing and the adult Easter egg hunt. Also, if I feel... If I sound weird, I'm having allergy stuff, so... And breathing problems. That's been real fun. I love it. It's It's a great time. Oh, I don't like it. I'm about to get off of here. Yes, at her. And no worries. I'm busy too, so take your time. Whenever you're ready, we can put a date on the calendar. And we can plan it. Literally no rush, because everything is picking back up for me too. Drinking sparkling ice using my TZ audio mic. Thank you guys for staying in here so long. It was real slow at the beginning, so. I will send you her link. Um, I'll send you... Yes, but she is the best Lucy. There's no better Lucy. I would die for her. I will send you her Facebook and Instagram, if that works. Okay, I just sent you her Facebook. All right, um, I'm getting her Instagram now, too. Ooh, she's getting her followers up there. She doesn't post a lot, but she's crazy talented. Okay, I sent you her Facebook and Instagram. All right, I'm getting off of here. Y'all already have me on social media. Anybody else who's watching this later, also go follow me on social media. <clears throat> Nikki Serenity on everything. So just look me up. You should be able to find me. It takes a while. It's hard work, but keep working at it. I've been working at it for years. Actually, my Facebook page, like my fan page, I had music on it before I started modeling. And that was like 12 years ago. So I've been working at it a long time. But it doesn't have to take that long. It's easier to blow up now, I feel like. Like TikTok makes it easy. I had a TikTok get 4.1 million views. You never know. If you get something good, it might just catch on in the algorithm. So keep doing those shorts. I think that'll be your one of your best bets.
You too. Thank you guys for joining. I will see you next time. I need to do more of these. Don't forget to check out the mic. I have it on a stand, but... Yep, works really well. Just a six, wow. It felt loud to me, but I'll take it. If this was fresh opened, I would have hit you with some 12s. I've done it. I've done it. But it's been open a while, so the carbonation is kind of down. All right, y'all. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you for commenting. Um, make sure you're subscribed to me. Hit the bell notification so you can see next time I'm live. Definitely got to do more of these. So, thank y'all. Thank you again.